welcome to PhotoFetch. In this video, we will review the expectations and requirements for photographers submitting photos of bus advertisements by taking a closer look at how to shoot transit photo shoots. Transit photo shoots require you to shoot images of advertisements on transit vehicles including buses, monorails, light rails, and trolleys. In this tutorial, we will look at the most common transit shoot type, transit buses. Please note that while all transit shoots do follow the same basic guidelines, there may be slight differences from job to job, and therefore it is imperative that you always read the photographer's instructions before every job you perform for photo fetch. Transit photo shoots require you to arrive at a specific location, such as a specific street corner or intersection, usually indicated in the instructions. Once in place, you're to shoot photos of all passing buses that have advertisements you encounter for a 60-minute period. In some cases, in locations with an abundance of bus traffic, once you have met the required amount of approvable photos for a job, you may leave before the 60-minute mark. But please, be sure you have the appropriate number of acceptable photos, or your submission will be returned to you and will not be completed or paid out, until the submission has been properly completed and approved. Special attention should be paid to identifying and shooting any specific advertisement prioritized in the photographer's instructions. It is important to note that not all jobs have specific ads listed as priority, but in either case, the job still requires photos to be taken of all buses with ads. Photos submitted of buses without any advertisements will be rejected. Always make sure images show the ads in focus and clearly legible. Photos shot from extreme angles and blurry photos will be rejected. When shooting a moving subject, it is recommended that you shoot using a shutter speed no slower than 1 250th of a second. Do not submit duplicate photos. This includes images shot using burst or continuous shooting features on your camera. Be aware that should you choose to submit these photos, no more than three images from a burst will be considered for approval. Make sure to capture the full bus side view within the frame of each shot and include some space around the bus to show the environment and surrounding traffic. Do not cut off the front end or back end of the bus. Also, make sure to shoot from a reasonable distance so the bus is clearly legible and easy to fully make out. Photos shot from too far away and photos containing obstructions like cars or poles or people and action that pull focus away from the bus will be rejected. Whenever possible, make sure to avoid unsightly items like construction sites or garbage receptacles from being within the image. Now, let's review some photos together. This image shows the full side view of the bus, which has an advertisement that is legible and in focus, making this an acceptable image. This image also shows a bus with advertisement that's in focus, and although it's at more of an angle, the ad is still legible and easy to make out, which makes this image acceptable as well. The next image is shot from too far away to make out the ad, and also contains obstructions and action that pulls focus, so this image would not be acceptable nor would this image that cuts off both ends of the bus and is extremely out of focus. Remember, always include the full side view of the bus with some surrounding environment, and that the ad in each photo is in focus and clearly legible to ensure your photos are approved every time. You should now have everything you need to be able to shoot a transit photo shoot successfully. Remember to always follow local traffic laws and regulations. Stay safe and legal, and please don't take any risks.